you know, different people might define doubling in different ways, that it's the feet are doing blah, 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 but basically it's stopping the forward motion and by getting them going the other way. Uh, you can only disengage the hind quarters at about a medium trot, kind of a 10 mile an hour. They get going much faster than that. And if they stub their toe, they're going down. So you've got to be careful about disengaging them hind quarters with too much speed. You can kind of get that head up and get, get the hind quarters leaning out, but still kind of going in a in a straight line. They're just kind of a three, four track, but they're staying somewhat balanced. You're just eliminating the drive. And it's pretty hard to do that if they're folding their neck around like a lot of people teach. But their neck can be perfectly straight, which gives them the balance. If their neck is perfectly straight and their nose is tipped up here like this, you've disengaged the hind quarters. It's tricky to feel and learn that, but <clears throat> it will save your bacon. Not only learn to feel it, but learn how to implement it. You can have a horse running off on that hillside and disengage his hind quarters, and he's not falling sideways, he's not spinning around. And I mean, that's all a little hard to do on a hillside like that. Uh, so, <clears throat> if you look at at Ed Connell's books, especially that uh, green one, the, the Carroll Horsemanship. Uh, them horse, a lot of them have their hind end underneath them. They're basically doing a rollback. Their head's in the air, it's like this, and but they're swapping ends. That's the only safe way to do it if you have much speed. But the thing is, <clears throat> regardless, you're rebalancing that horse and eliminating the forward drive. Whether his hind end is stepping out or his hind end is up underneath him. And he's kind of doing more of a rollback type. You're getting that horse to rebalance to eliminate the forward drive. I guess that would be the way I would define the doubling. However he places his feet to eliminate the drive. The old cowboys, control was the most important thing. You know, I mean, they'd I mean, in some cases, roll them in the saddle, you know, and, and they'd, they would have doubled them enough times to a post or from another horse or on foot or something. You look at them Will James pictures, and some of that's pretty action-packed. But when, when they was on them, that's the one thing they needed. Otherwise, they're a passenger from here to Bruno. And if he bucks, you better be able to ride him. I mean, there's situations where, you know, somebody got bucked off and it might be two or three days before we caught up with that horse again. They get with range horses and, you know, you finally get a saddle back and <laughs> start over again. <laughs> a little different scenario, but I lost a horse with my saddle for 45 days before I got my saddle back. I mean, the point is, in, in this kind of country, you know, they, they don't always just come home and be waiting at the gate for you.